repeatedly. The Lord has instructed us that we are to work the cities from outpost centers. Working from what? Outpost centers. In these cities, we are to have houses of worship and memorials for God. But institutions for the publication of our literature, for the healing of the sick, and for the training of workers' colleges are to be outside the cities. Especially is it important that our youth be shielded from the temptations of city life. Last day events, page 118. And so she said, the Lord has repeatedly instructed us that we are to work the cities. We have to do what? From outpost centers. And we'll expel on some of this as we move forward. Wherever a church is established, all the members should engage actively in missionary work. They should visit every family in the neighborhood. Does it say 50% of the families? Does it say 30% of the families? Does it say 99% of the families? They should visit every family in the neighborhood and know their spiritual condition. Christian service, page 12. So we're being told in the pen of inspiration that although we're counseled to move out into the country as the Lord opens the way, that we ought to have our churches in the city. Have our what? Churches. As memorials of God. So based on the pen of inspiration, our churches are to be in the city. Because cities are highly populated, amen? amen. Churches are here as memorials of God. Last day events, page 119. Much more can be done to save and educate the children of those who at present cannot get away from the cities. Does she recognize some just right now aren't able to get away from the cities? This is a matter worthy of our best efforts. Church schools are to be established for the children in the cities. What type of schools? Church schools. And in connection with these schools, provision is to be made for the teaching of higher studies where these are called for. So we've already discovered that churches, as memorials of God, are to be in the city. We're also discovering that church schools are to be in the city. Sometimes I wonder, have the children of the world become wiser than the children of light? Because if you don't know, our church schools in the cities, the people who are attending our churches in the city, cities are not Adventists. There are more non-Adventists in our church schools than there are Seventh-day Adventists. Whereas many families, for one reason or another, are not sending their children to our church schools, the people in the world are sending them to Adventist Christian schools. Thank God that our church schools are in the city. Amen? Our restaurants are what? must be in the cities. For otherwise, the workers in these restaurants could not reach the people and teach them the principles of right living. Last day events, page 119. So we've discovered that our churches are to be in the cities. We've discovered that church schools are to be in the cities. And we're discovering that our restaurants are to be in the cities. Amen? Doesn't that make practical sense? Amen? Because the health message is the right arm of the gospel. And we know that there's populated cities all around. And even people in the world are starting to move towards a more balanced and healthy diet. I was recently told about a man in New York, a seminary Adventist, who opened up a vegan restaurant. And there are many non-Adventists in the busy, crowded area of New York who come to his restaurant and learn the benefits of healthy eating. And many of their lifestyles have been completely changed. They've been exposed to the Bible, and in some instances, to Ellen White's writings, counsels on diets and foods. Our restaurants must be in the cities. The cities are to be worked from outposts. From what? Said the messenger of God, shall not the cities be warned? Yes, not by God's people living in them, but by their visiting them, by their doing what? <laughs> to warn them of what is coming upon the earth. Country living, page 30. You know, sometimes when you even start talking about country living, it turns people off. Because many people have approached it in a very imbalanced way. But saints of God, we're going to approach it in a balanced way, amen? amen. 
by the grace and the power of God, allowing the counsel to speak for itself. Last day of page 96. In fact, there are some ministers, because this is an unpopular subject, who won't even touch the subject. Who won't even educate the people. But we're being told, educate our people. When the Lord gives the word to educate, it behooves us to educate. Amen? Amen. The Lord will have his people looking about them and securing humble, inexpensive places as centers for their work. And from time to time, larger places will come to their notice, which they will be able to secure at a surprisingly low price. Last day events, page 96. If we just seek the Lord about this, say, Lord, what would you have me to do? Give me the courage and the grace to follow your counsel as you lead. We're being told, when we try to set up a missionary outpost, that we're going to secure places at a surprisingly low price. Because we already discovered from the recent study, for the first time in history, more people live in the city than they do in the country. The Lord calls for his people to locate away from the cities. For in such an hour, as ye think not, fire and brimstone will be rained from heaven upon these cities. Proportionate to their sins will be their visitation. When one city is destroyed, listen to the council, saints, let not our people regard this matter as a light affair, and think that they may, if favorable opportunity offers, build themselves homes in that same destroyed city. Last day events, page 95. Now that's startling. So notice, if someone lives in a populated city, and that city is destroyed and ransacked. We're being told, let us not think that, we're going, that we should rebuild in that same city that was destroyed. Now, did I make that up, saints? I'm reading straight from the counsel that God has given. Get out of the cities as soon as possible and purchase a little piece of land where you can have a garden, where you can have a what? Where your children can watch the flowers growing and learn from them lessons of simplicity and purity. Last day events, page 95. Out of the cities is my message at this time. Be assured that the call is for our people to locate miles away from the large cities. One look at San Francisco, as it is today, that's back in the early 1900s, late 1800s. Is San Francisco worse today? One look at San Francisco as it is today <coughs> would speak to your intelligent minds showing you the necessity of getting out of the cities. Last day events, page 95. The end is near. The what is near? Notice this, saints. This is sober. And every city, every what? <laughs> is to be turned upside down every way. There will be confusion in every city. Everything that can be shaken is to be shaken, and we do not know what will come next. The judgments will be according to the wickedness of the people and the light of truth that they have had. Last day events, page 111. Now we start on that study, natural disasters, how Satan studies the secrets of the laboratories of nature. How he's poisoning the atmosphere and how he's trying to wipe out life. But also we discover in a bit of inspiration that judgments will be according to the wickedness of the people and the light of truth that they have had. Lord have mercy. The time is near when large cities, when what? Large cities. Will be swept away. And all should be warned of these coming judgments. Last day events, page one. 11. Now let me pause here. If you knew that a freight train was rushing down the track and there was somebody sitting there but they weren't aware of it and you don't warn them, is that being a Christian? No. But if you see danger coming, if you see danger ahead and you warn that person, 
That's the Christ-like thing to do, amen? To give them an opportunity to understand the impending judgment and destruction that's coming. Oh, that God's people, that whose people? Had a sense of the impending destruction of thousands of cities. Thousands of what? Cities. Now almost given to idolatry. Last day of age. Page 111. Have we seen cities destroyed in our day? <coughs> have we seen cities wiped out and toppled? Lord have mercy. Country living page 7. The ungodly cities of our world are to be swept away by the besom of destruction. That's like a broom swept away by the besom of destruction. In the calamities that are now befalling immense buildings and large portions of cities, God is showing us what will come upon the whole earth. God's purpose may be read. Again and again, the Lord has instructed that our people are to take their families away from the cities into the country where they can raise their own provisions. They can do what? And notice what she says. For in the future, in the what? The problem of buying and selling will be a very serious one. So when the crisis comes, when we are no longer able to buy and sell, those who have heeded the counsel of God and they're residing in the country and they have a garden, they'll be like kings and queens because they have their garden. They don't have to depend on being able to buy or sell because they already have their garden. They've learned how to work it, work the garden, and, and they know how to raise their provisions. We should now begin to heed the instruction given us over and over again. If we listen to what Ellen White is saying, she continues to repeat it. Get out of the cities, into rural districts, where the houses are not crowded closely together, and where you will be free from the interference of enemies. Adventist Home, page 141. The time is not far distant, when like the early disciples, we should be forced to seek a refuge in desolate and solitary places. As the siege of Jerusalem, by the Roman armies was the signal for flight to the Judean Christians, so the assumption of power on the part of our nation and the decree enforcing the papal Sabbath will be a warning to us. It will then be time to leave the large cities preparatory to leaving the smaller ones for retired homes in secluded places among the mountains. She said, the time is not far distant. When, like the early disciples, we should be forced to seek a refuge in desolate and solitary places as the siege of Jerusalem by the Roman army. In other words, as they began to surround Jerusalem was a signal for the flight of the Christians. Judean Christians sold the assumption of power on the part of our nation in the decree enforcing the papal Sabbath will be a warning to us. It will then be time to leave the large cities preparatory to leaving the smaller ones for retired homes in secluded places among the mountains. That statement was written in 1885, but notice this one in 1897. The Protestant world hath set up an idle Sabbath in the place where God's Sabbath should be, and they are treading in the footsteps of the papacy. Treading in the what? For this reason, she says, I see the necessity. I see the what? of the people of God moving out of the cities into retired country places where they may cultivate the land and raise their own produce. Thus, they may bring their children up with simple, healthful habits. I see the necessity of making haste to get all things ready for the crisis. So she's saying, I see the necessity of making preparations now. Because when that Sunday law hits, if we don't have a place in that country already, it's going to be quite challenging, amen? Yeah. But if we make preparations ahead of time, we will already have a place in the country, amen? Yeah. And the Lord will open the way as we ask him to lead us and guide us through his providential leadership.